We're about here a while. Hello, go, go. Big old teaser looking for fire. We got it going. So he said, <laughs> so you guys voted for fire pit to talk about God, so here we are. Um, kind of what my beliefs are. I believe in Jesus Christ, of course. He personally saved me uh, from when I had cancer. And that was like three years ago now. Crazy how time flies. Uh, three years ago, I had a supernatural encounter. I can't deny it. So, it's one of those things you know. And if you know, you know. And if you don't, you just don't. It's kind of hard to explain. The only closest thing I could think about what happened was if you guys seen the movie Final Destination similar to that, but on a smaller scale. Not quite so Hollywood. But Jesus was there, saved me from that too. I've come a long way in 34 years, still got ways to go. And I know we're all finding our journey throughout life. You may find solace in other things besides, you know, medieval stuff. But, it, you know, if this helps anyone, great. That's what I'm called to do. That's what I'm called to do. And I just hope someday this reaches my son as well. So, we kind of see the tri trials and tribulations that his father went through. Maybe one day help him in his path as a young adult. any of you guys are struggling, just know you're never alone. Jesus is with you through hard times and the good times. And I find that very comforting. Uh, and I bring God everywhere I, I am. Especially in the SDA. SDA is not strictly a religious order of any kind. You can be anything you want in the SDA, not just a Christian. You can be anything else in the SDA. In the medieval period, they asked you to try pre 17th century styles. <laughs> but I still like to bring them with me. 
not quite sure what I'm supposed to do in this world half the time. Probably lost like the rest of y'all. A lot of ups and downs, challenges, financially, spiritually, <laughs> physically. We each have our own battles, wrestle with our own demons, addictions. And I know the Lord brings those that hear him close to him. Some may hear him faintly, some may hear him very loudly. And some may need to be put in a general nudge in the direction that they need to be going in. <sighs> The enemy is always attacking you. And you have to notice that every step of the way, trying to make you bolder. Every day is a struggle. So there's some days you have to think, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Is it really that important? I always ask myself, in a hundred years, will what I'm doing matter? Because you should strive for helping not only yourself but others. So I always. I always like the analogy of the airplane, you first got to help yourself, with the mask, before you can help others. It's not selfish, it's not mean, it's just the truth. Some, some of you may sacrifice to help others too, and that's fine. That, that may be your calling. So. I thank you all for watching. You guys did amazing. It was, uh, Last month's journey. You guys hit the the goals that I set forth, and now I must honor you guys in my next journey. I'm just preparing myself every day for it. I've been kind of pushing it off, training sometimes. That's just can't let the enemy win, so I gotta do something grand. And then not only grand, but every day. So, hence why I also go to practice every Sunday. See my videos going back a year. Every every time they were out for practice, depending on weather, I was out there. A few occasions I had to call it uh, due to financial reasons or some some family reasons. I always bring God with me on those adventures too. And last week was a real trial and tribulation for the family. So I won't go into details, but the Lord has healed our family and seen us through it and now we gotta do the next stretch of battle. He's giving us a little bit of rest. As I can make this video for you guys. But he calls on us. He calls on us. To be better every day. Like to be perfect. No one can be perfect, but you should strive to be and settle for excellence in all that you do. And that's what the Lord calls you to do. Not because he tells you or commands you, it's because it's what's best for you. Like for a child, like like think of your children. You sometimes do things that they don't like. But why? It's in their best interest. You can't eat all the whole and you can't eat <laughs> in one sitting. It's the only thing I can think of as a parent. My son's a teenager now and he's following a dark path and I'm trying to reach him every day. I need to do better myself and find ways to actually reach out to him. But I'm trying to distance myself so he can heal. Because me and him are like oil and water at this point in time. Don't mix. I pray he finds the Lord one day. And I hope this video reaches him. He knows how much I love him. As Jesus loved us. Soon I'm going to be retiring this, retiring this clinic. You've seen me through the first year of my trial and tribulations with the SCA and be, beginning my. I quest a new. I've been doing a lot of thinking and uh, and doing research too on, on the Templar Order and what happened after they fell. So there's an order in Portugal, Order of Christ. I, I didn't, 
my new armor that I was making, or paint job, that, that's their symbol. The only thing they have different is they have the, a white cross in the middle side. I thought it was very interesting. Um, and they still exist te technically today. It says an honorary guard to uh, Portugal. So that's kind of like what my one video was in the short order of St. Michael. You know, I just can relate to this vanquisher of evil, St. Michael, the angel, archangel. I'm sure he played a hand in a lot of my personal battles, fighting off evil in my life, and the dreams I have sometimes. I know the myth. They don't want me to speak, I imagine, about the Lord. How much I love him, and uh, I just gotta be better. I'm sure that's what he tells me. Gotta be better. Be better than him. It's a struggle for sure. I look back out here and all I see is potential. And I gotta do better. So. One of the things I'm gonna be focusing on in my videos is just more peaceful. And that's actually the peaceful content, but more content like you saw before. The Triangle Garden, Walk, FDA. Uh, intermix of all that. Uh, I'm going to be working on a garden here as well. When I get that a little bit further along, I'll be doing, doing a video on that as well. Be in honor of St. Michael. Be the centerpiece of what is to be. So. Life's a very, very hard, very rough. I think about how easy us Americans have it. Some of us may not have it not see it, but if you don't know, you don't know. Very blessed. The Lord has granted me a lot of things in life, even things I wanted, and then realized I didn't want them. Look at that crow. It's an everyday struggle. You know, we got to take uh, each day as it comes. You're not the person you were yesterday. You begin the day anew. That's how I kind of see it. So you got to see your your future self as the person that yet that is yet to come into existence, yet to be born. And you got to set realistic goals throughout the week. I noticed that the Lord you know, kind of draws us to that. Look at the calendar. That's based on Christianity. 80 BC. So, we're in the year of the Lord 2024. That's crazy to think about. I remember when the century just first turned 24 years ago. That's so crazy to say. And, uh, you know, everyone was wild about the YSDK. Now, here we are. <laughs> uh. About to go into a new season. The Lord has blessed me with many things. Fire, this, all these logs are from my own yard. Pre just recently fell. Limb perfect for this video. So I don't believe in science too much. I believe the Lord speaks to you in mysterious ways. Ways that you would understand when he speaks to you. I was at a friend's wedding recently and I could feel the light of the Lord and their love 
there's things that I do that's kind of a, a blessing. I got to go for a nice walk too. So I'll be in this this video as well. All will be included. Spencer! 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 Let's sit there and enjoy the fire for a little bit. Amazed at like the beauty of fire. If you ever look at it, Definitely read your Bible more, for sure, is what I'm always being told. I need to start doing that. I'm not good at, I mean, I'm, I'm good at reading. I don't know why I say that. <laughs> I can read technical, technical documentation about, like, C sharps and plus plus, all that, and figure things out. So, I'm, I'm good at technical reading. This one comes to, like, books. I just have difficulty keeping focused sometimes to experience things. I think the Lord knows that. So, He reveals Himself just through that, through experience. I've seen uh, Jesus is practicing you know, work, you know, loving thy neighbor as you would love yourself. Love your Lord with all your heart and soul. That was one of the things I experienced in the hospital. I stopped feeling sorry for myself. I started thinking, how can I help those around me? And I started with, there was two EMTs, I guess they were coming to take me to the theology, I guess. And they gave him a non-powered um, stretcher. So they had to lift me on that thing and lift it up. And I, and 
there was no way these 150, 140 pound girls were going to be able to do that. So even though I was pretty ill with cancer, chubby lymphoma is what I had. Um, I picked myself up, walked over to that stretcher, laid down for them, and that's the best I could do for them. But it was more than enough. They didn't have to lift me up in the stretcher past that other than getting me in and out of the ambulance and I could not, I wish I could help them there, but I couldn't. And I just started helping everyone I could. It's, it's patient, kind, even if they're jabbing me a million times in the arms to get a IV in or draw blood or whatever it was. I remember one person in the ICU did that and I was praying the Lord please help this man. <laughs> the Lord helped me the next day. The doctor told him, yeah, I need someone that knows what they're doing. I was like, oh good. Um, I remember just being a very chaotic time. I felt I needed to do it. My mom didn't survive cancer. She lost her battle. She had a ovarian cancer. She lost her battle during chemo. Had a stroke, and later on, uh, blood clot got her, killed her. I about cried when I was told I had a blood clot in my arm. And I thank the Lord as well. I got to experience that fear. Anxiety, impending doom, multiple times. I never gave up. I knew the Lord would carry me through. I'd either die trying to get through it for my mom, but I knew the Lord had me. That was a rough, rough period of my life, but. December of 2020 all the way to April of 2021. April I found out I was cancer free. Had a new job and everything. New job was great, glorious. You guys met me when I had that that nice nice paying job I should say. But later I found out it wasn't really for me. I was isolated, alone, depressed, anxious. Because you're making six figures doesn't mean it brings you happiness. I found more purpose being my own boss. Some stresses, yes. How am I going to pay X bill? How am I going to do this? Make sure my family's fed. Everyone has those difficult stressors. I'm doing everything I can, even now, with this video. Growing the, growing the YouTube channel, growing the empire, I should say. Yeah. Kind of my goal with this channel to let people know about the Lord and to bring some financial stability later on down the road because I know it's gonna it's not gonna be easy it's gonna be back breaking work you know I'm gonna be pushing my to my limits I, I can already tell you guys have been <laughs> I've been working my skill set in the real world rather than digital been doing digital work my entire life and it feels all for naught with the introduction of AI. Um, I'm not quite, not quite sure what to make of AI, either it's a tool or something from Satan, I'm not certain. I know during my episode, my stranger experience has used technology against me. I don't want to lean, it's not from, from God per se, especially when you interact with it properly. <clears throat> feels like it's taking from the mouths of humans, mouths of people, hardworking individuals that work on a skill set their entire life. But this is the way of technology. Like we progress, move on, advance, and people lose their jobs. Natural creation and destruction of our economy, I imagine. And that's the way the Lord will have it. But if we stagnate and fester, like the Romans, we'd be long forgotten. The Romans aren't too forgotten, are they? People still study Latin and people look up to their hierarchy, I guess. I 
that's how they structured society. I know there's that TikTok thing with uh, the Romans or something like that. But what about the Roman Empire? I'm like, yes, what about the Roman Empire? What do you know of Julius Caesar, Marcus Aurelius, right? Last great emperor, or one of the last five great emperors of Rome. What do you know of the Republican era? Like, yes, please tell me about the Roman Empire. Spanned over 2000, almost 1500 years of existence? 2000 years? Something like that? So, I pray our civilization will last just as long. But who knows? God willing. All we can do is push back culturally against things that shouldn't be or things that are wrong. Just because something is popular doesn't mean it's right. There's a lot in American history you can look back because it's popular at the time doesn't mean it's right. I try not to think about the outside world too much when I'm in the SCA, so we won't talk too much about that, but... This is our form of escapism. It should be... I forget, to, I forget sometimes that you're... I get reminded sometimes, like, yeah, you're right. I get it. I enjoy my camaraderie. I enjoy talking to you guys. Right? You guys' commentary is pretty funny. I quite enjoy a lot of it, even the, the ones that are semi negative. But, you know, they have, I figure, I feel that even the negativity, negative people, they, it usually comes from a place of love. If you look at what they're actually saying, if it's constructive, harsh criticism, it's usually probably a place of love. Or even the person that's like being uh, sarcastic. It's because you're probably not living up to your potential in the eyes of others. But you'll never live up to everyone's expectations. So don't even try doing that. So just take criticism with a grain of salt. Anytime someone's talking to you, uh, they don't need any explanation what they say, but if it rings true, it doesn't matter if it's from a king or a peasant. If it rings true, it's true. I need to lose weight, I need to take a bath. One of the comments sticks out in my mind. <laughs> You're probably right, I need to do more of that. <sighs> we'll just enjoy the scenery. As we march to a thousand subscribers, I hope you all remember me. If anything just happened to me in the future, either remember me or the Lord, the Lord the most, and have your adventures with me. The Lord wants to look best for you, but He also wants to enjoy His company with you. If you really read the Bible, after you read the Bible. Like a uh, saying that sticks out my mind is him turning water into wine because he wanted to enjoy his co his company with people, dance with him. He tells me he, he's not against people having a good time, so don't let that good time be an addiction. Like I've noticed that the trend in the Bible seems to be in moderation in all that you do. Too much of anything can kill you. Too much water. Too much salt. Too much running. Too much drinking, too much of anything to kill you. So just try to remember to take everything in moderation. Because 
you guys ever get a chance, go camping as well. There's nothing like experience being outdoors. If you're gonna hate it at first, probably. If you're used to comfortable life, not getting bit by bugs and whatnot, just do what you can. But eventually, you'll get it. I wouldn't say addicted, but you'll feel more at peace. The simplicity of the outdoors. That's why a lot of people love the outdoors, I imagine. I like people go on hikes, go on adventures, go sailing. It's going to be closer. The Romans used to go hunting and do this, so they used to have a pretty good life. Hunting all the time, working out all the time, right? What we think is a luxury item now in America. They, they did it as a job, full-time job. <laughs> so it's crazy how time changes things and like fat people back then would be considered uber wealthy which which they are even in today's today's world where we're, we're, we're the most wealthiest nation in the world so take that into consideration we look at people well, we shouldn't be celebrating obesity I always found that very strange you're celebrating not only mediocrity you're celebrating the death of the individual if you're watching the center town life see their struggles and Dr. Now reaches the, reaches to help these people. You, you see the enemy there too. That he sees as well. And there's always an underpinning issue going on in their lives. And that is and that's just one manifestation of addiction. It takes multiple forms. So gambling, porn, you name it. It takes different forms. All, the, all results in the same thing, the destruction of the individual. I thought about that a lot. The same thing is you're erasing yourself from the book of life, DNA pool. You think about all, all that, why is it that? It erases you from your existence, your family lineage. There's a time when people took lineages a little bit seriously. Maybe we need to start doing that again. Family heritage and lineage. Go, doggo! Here, sit down. Sit. Sit. those people in your life as well. You're, you're sent from the Lord for a reason to relay a message to help you guide you wherever it be. So share ourselves in your life, good or bad. Be use discernment in your interacting with these people. The Bible does call upon you to discern good from evil. And it's not the you're not war with the Flesh and blood, but principalities. And what does that mean? Uh, entity organizations, theologies. There's any any, <coughs> any idea or group, ideological group. Not the people in them, but the, the actual thing itself. There are bad ideas and there are bad cultures and organizations. You need to use 
discernment and interacting with suffering. So Byron, you know, on great real things, not even more like I am. So don't talk to me mad, talk to me that way. Hope guys enjoyed that video. We got a lot to think about going in the future, especially with the channel. How you go about walking with the Lord. If you guys are all interested, if you guys are interested in ESPA as well, we're always looking for new people. And I'm always looking for new people in my new order of St. Michael. <laughs> If you're in the northern Alabama area, definitely can use the additional help. A lot of people need healing. A lot of people need help. So I'm but one man. But one man can make a difference. want to discuss anything in the next chat we'll be doing this every Monday night <laughs> so we call it uh, we'll call it Monday night with a K Monday night so we're gonna be I got a ton of firewood and uh, that's in the videos as well you guys want to see progress in that Garden, the start of it, we'll be reaping later on a year from now. Uh, we can do that in the next week's video. So, I want to let you guys watch some of this fire, let it burn down a little bit. guys hope to see you guys in the future so if you guys can also share this video like and subscribe comment it all helps as I go to grow my company the channel and the company so my goals in life right now being close to the Lord growing the company to provide for family Family comes before that, obviously. God, country, family. And a job, or whatever that supports you, supporting that should be taken seriously. And that's what I'm doing here. So, I'm fighting every day. Just to be posting those shorts every day. Thank you all. Come on, Coco.